Now you you can't go in individually, um, and let's say you know they're not going to need Sanaki. You can delete selected, or you can go through and just clear out everything. And voila, your your screen is clean again. Now, with that said, you're going to also want to be able to give Asmus. So I'm going to hold down Control again and right click from Texaco to Shell. And that is giving you the direct route. However, if you want to be able to vector tanker, or, you know, let's say Texaco to Shell, you know, you don't want to give them the direct route. You want to give them the azimuth to where they're going to be or where you think they're going to be. And all you do is you just hold down the right click and it gives you the line. Uh, now, once you let go of the button, it disappears. There is no way to lock this. This is just a temporary call out with uh, that information. So we have Shell moving down to the south. Let's say he was continuing down to the south and Texaco's wanted to know, you know, how how can I meet up with them? Which which azimuth do I need to fly? You just hold down the, the right mouse button, click on the direction where you think they're going to be. So right now, Texaco's bearing 255 degrees, uh, 50 nautical miles at 14,000 feet. Um, and his azimuth is 241 degrees. So fly 241 degrees. Uh, heading of 241. Now, if you look back where I originated the right click, the target is still moving. This line will not keep on the target that you originated from. It will just keep on the location on the screen in which you're clicking. So, the target's moving. It's going to move off that line. It's going to be changing you know, in real time. So that's something to, to, to keep in mind.